If you're not using Bisquick to make way more than just pancakes and biscuits, you are missing out. In today's video, I'm gonna share three recipes all using Bisquick. We're gonna do some sausage, egg, and cheese muffins. We're also gonna do some kind of Bojangles copycat, Bojangles style blueberry biscuits. And then stay tuned because I have a really easy cheeseburger pie, perfect for a weeknight dinner. This recipe is super easy. It only requires four ingredients, but these things are so delicious, y'all. So of course, we're gonna need some Bisquick. I'm just using a mixture of cheeses. I kinda wanted to use up some of this, and I'll probably dip into the Fiesta blend a little bit, but it's just one cup of shredded cheese. We're also gonna need one pound of breakfast sausage, and then we're gonna need four eggs. That's it, let's put this together. So the first thing we need to do is brown up our sausage. So our sausage is done. I'm gonna drain it. We definitely don't want all that fat in there. So I'm just gonna, the way I like to do it, I just put mine on a paper plate with a couple paper towels. And I'll just let it kind of hang out over here while we're getting together the rest of our ingredients. So now to a large bowl, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my four eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and just whisk our eggs all together. Next, we're gonna add in our cheeses. Like I said, I'm just kind of using couple bags that I had to finish off, but it should equal about one cup of shredded cheese. And sharp cheddar is my favorite in these. But we're gonna make it a gin cup. How much is a gin cup? Like one and a half? I don't know. It's like a cup with just a little with smidgen a more for love and good luck. Then next I'm gonna go ahead and bring back over our sausage that we drained. Give everything a little toss. We have our muffin tin. I'm gonna give each little one a good spray. And then next, I'm just gonna start filling up our muffin tin. They should be about three-fourths of the way full. And by the way, not that I always film low calorie or low carb things. So these, I calculated the calories and they're only like 209 calories each. So I thought that was pretty good if you're watching that. And they actually are pretty low carb. I know we have the Bisquick in there, but I think it only adds maybe 11 carbs. So that's relatively low. I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna kinda divide it out. I already have my oven at 350, and these are going in there for about 18 to 20 minutes to go nice and brown on top. All right, we just pulled our little sausage muffins out of the oven. They look perfect. They look nice and golden on top. And then I just kind of pull mine up on the side with a knife to make sure that side is nice and brown. And they look perfect. They smell delicious. These are perfect little breakfasts just on their own, but these also make really good grab and go breakfasts. We've actually done these the day before we go on vacation. We can just kind of grab one and eat these on the way. They're perfectly good a day or two after. You just wrap them up in a paper towel and microwave them for about 30 seconds and they're perfect. These are so, so good. Look how good these look, y'all. They're so fluffy and light, have lots of flavor, sausage, cheese, and egg. How could you get wrong with that? Y'all give these a try. So first we're gonna start by adding three and a half cups of Bisquick to our bowl. Next to our Bisquick, we're gonna add one fourth cup. This is a little bit different from Bowberry Biscuits. I'm pretty sure they don't have cinnamon, but cinnamon in a blueberry biscuit just sounds delicious. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Go ahead and mix our dry ingredients really well. Here comes the rain. It is raining all week here, y'all. 
It is pouring down rain all day today, so we thought it'd be a really good day to be in the kitchen making some recipes for Bisquick. Talk about comfort food, right? Lord, it is pouring Y'all, down. It is, it is storming bad. from yesterday, right? I know, yesterday it was so pretty. Next to our biscuit mix, we're gonna add one cup of milk. I'm using 2%, but 2% or whole milk will be fine. And next we're gonna add in one cup of blueberries. I rinse these really well. And then next, we're just gonna gently stir everything together. If you don't wanna over mix, just stir it just until everything is moistened and combined. If they look a little bit too dry, you can add a splash more milk. I think these might need the tiniest little splash ever. Okay. Perfect. All right, I have my baking sheet out here. This is just an ungreased baking sheet. And I'm just gonna start dropping my biscuits on my pan. This is kind of also different. We're not rolling any biscuits out or cutting any biscuits. Makes it super easy. I'm gonna leave an inch or two in between. You can kind of form them if you want to in perfect little circles. And this should make about 12 drop biscuits. We're actually gonna have about 13 because I'm gonna do two small ones to fit them all. All right, we have our oven at 425 for these, and these only take about 10 to 12 minutes. We'll just keep an eye on them. All right, our biscuits are out of the oven. They look perfect, just slightly brown on top, but these are gonna be a little bit sweeter. We're gonna make a glaze to go on top, just like Bojangles. And I wanna tell y'all, these biscuits are not overly sweet. That little bit of sugar and then the glaze on top is what's gonna give them their sweetness. And of course the blueberries, but that's also gonna add a little bit of tartness as well. But let's get that glaze made. So for our glaze, we're gonna add three cups of powdered sugar. We're also gonna add in two tablespoons of softened butter, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna start with about a fourth a cup of milk. With the glaze, you know you just start with a little bit of milk and then add more as you need it. We're gonna whisk everything together. Look at this fluffy biscuit, y'all. Those blueberries are popping open, creating their syrup. Sweet glaze on top. Good rainy day, giving my cup of coffee. I'm ready to try these. All right, y'all, thoughts on these? I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10 for now. However, in the description box, I'm gonna put the directions for y'all. I think they're gonna be better. And if I make these again, I think you need to add a little bit of butter. I mean, biscuits, Need some butter in them. I'd probably add half a stick of butter, just cubed, when you're mixing up the Bisquick and the sugar. I would add in some butter right there. I think it will add to the moisture of these and also give it that butter flavor. And also it'll create that kind of buttery bottom, kind of like a Bojangles biscuit. So when I make these again, that's what I'll do and I'll have that down in the description box. But these are really good, like I said, with a cup of coffee. Y'all give them a try. All right, y'all, pretty sure we saved the best for last on this one. We've made our breakfast, we've made something sweet. Now let's make this cheeseburger pie. It's everything you love about a cheeseburger, all with a Bisquick topping, savory, comfort food, super easy to make. Let's get started. Of course, we're gonna need our Bisquick. We have a little bit of shredded cheese. We're gonna need one pound of ground beef for this recipe, because it is a cheeseburger pie after all. We're gonna need a little bit of milk, two eggs, then we have some diced onion, diced tomato. We have a little bit of onion powder and then some salt and pepper. 
We have a large skillet and we're just gonna start by melting one tablespoon of butter. So our butter is melted. We're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped onion. This is about a cup and a quarter, a little over a cup. And I just like to saute my onion just for a minute or two before adding in my ground beef. I like to kind of get a little bit of color on there, soften them up a little bit. I just added my ground beef. Now I'm just gonna continue to brown this up. So we have it all nice and brown. All right, our ground beef looks pretty browned up. This ground beef is pretty lean. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel and kind of soak up the excess grease this way, plus a little bit of grease. All that's gonna add is a little bit of flavor. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our seasonings. Sprinkle in that onion powder, a little sprinkle of salt, a little sprinkle of black pepper. We're also gonna add about one cup of diced tomatoes. And this is actually a gin cup, but the opposite direction, a little less than a cup. I'm not the biggest fan of tomatoes, but I still like them in things. So we do still add a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and give everything a nice little stir. I went ahead and turned my skillet down to low, and now I'm just gonna sprinkle in our cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you want for a cheeseburger. I really like this Sargento. It's the four state cheddar. It has sharp New York, has sharp, New York sharp, California mild, and Vermont sharp cheddar all in one. And really you could add whatever kind of veggies in here. I think some sauteed mushrooms would be really good in here and do some Swiss cheese, kind of like a mushroom onion Swiss burger, Bisquick style. Or you could add some black olives. You could add pickles, of course, but I think I'm gonna skip the pickles this time because Lord, y'all, we've been putting pickles in everything. All right, we got our cheese stirred in. Now let's go over here and make our Bisquick topping. So to our mixing bowl, we're gonna add about half a cup of our Bisquick mix, one cup of milk. Then we're gonna add two eggs. Okay, now we're just gonna whisk everything together. All right, so I have my little pie plate out here. Now we're just gonna get our cheeseburger mixture into the pie plate. It's hard to hold with one hand, it's really heavy. All right, next we're gonna bring over our Bisquick batter and we're just gonna pour it right over top. And it's gonna look really runny at this point, but it will seep down in there and it kinda helps hold the whole pie together as well as create that biscuit crust on top. All right, our oven is preheated to 400. This is first going in the oven for 20 minutes at 400, and then we're gonna top with a little bit more cheese and bake for just a few more minutes after that. All right, y'all, our pie has been here for 20 minutes. I'm gonna add a little bit more cheese in here. It's looking good so far. Let's bring it over here. Let me grab the additional cheese. Y'all can kind of see already how it kind of seeps. The biscuit seeps down in there and kind of creates that crust as well as kind of helps solidify the whole thing together. All right, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on top. And this is going back into the oven for just about five to 10 minutes. Just basically enough for this cheese to melt. All right, let's give it another five minutes and we'll see how it looks. All right, y'all, it looks so good. Nice and hot and the bubbly. Let's get it over here. All right, I'm gonna let it set up for probably 10 to 15 minutes. That way when we cut into it, everything will stick together. This looks so good and smells delicious. All right, y'all, we're gonna cut into this and see how it is. Hopefully I don't mess it up too bad. It smells so good. All right, looks so good. You could serve this with anything, just some steamed veggies, a salad. Look how good that looks, y'all. Let me get a fork. Super soft on top. Soft and pillowy at Bisquick. Nice and cheesy. Look at all that ground beef in there. Yum. Like I said, all the flavors of a cheeseburger, but it has that soft, pillowy Bisquick topping with that cheese on top. Really, really good. You ready to try it? Uh, of course, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let you try it. First, I gotta get one more bite. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. 
Don't get a big bite like I did. It was really hot. I like the tomatoes in it. I know you're not a huge tomato person, but. Yeah, and like I said, I think tomatoes. people could have had mushrooms or green peppers, even like if you want to do a jalapeno or bacon, bacon yeah, jalapeno bacon cheeseburger. Be really, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, what do, you, what do you rate this one? I'm gonna go nine out of 10 because you just said bacon and it doesn't have it in it. Okay, well, I'm gonna say eight out of 10. Like it is delicious. But just to keep these videos super honest, it's delicious. But it's just like an easy dinner. I mean, it's like, I don't know. And it took no time to cook. No time to cook, no time to throw together. Yeah. Super easy weeknight dinner. Y'all give it a try. All right, my friends, thank you so much for cooking along with me today. Leave me a comment down below and let us know which of these you think you might try. Hope you're all having a great week and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Bye y'all.